the move kind of forcing us to reduce. He was a little jealous that we took my mom here. This is like a legit aquarium. Was there an armadillo at the aquarium? Good morning. For you, it has been a day, but for me, it's been about, I don't know, two hours since I ended the last vlog. Um, we have been kind of go, go, go in this room with minimalizing and reducing, and I know I'm going to have to go through it two or three more times before we move to the new place. But if you guys have not watched our lot, most recent videos, you might not know, uh, Ken and I are planning on moving, and no matter where we move, even best case scenario, it will be a downsize from the place that we're living right now. So that means that we need to reduce a lot. I just finished everything in the playroom, um, all of the toys, all the books, some clothes that I had stored away for Irene um, in case we have more kids, that kind of thing. All of that is done, and one of the things that I really look forward to with our next place is having less means the kids play more. So when Rosalind woke up this morning, the first thing she did is come into this room, which she hasn't used in I don't even know how long. She hasn't come in here and play, and play with like one thing. She played with her tea set and the kids played together and it was so, so nice. So I'm kind of excited about um, the move kind of forcing us to reduce because I feel like we're gonna get more use out of the things that we have. So I am done with this room now, for now. Um, that car that you're looking at and the dinosaur in the back, that is not ours. That's actually Ken's brother's stuff because uh, this is Ken's dad's house. So that's not coming with us, but the other things, like we've got three baskets of toys back there two basket or three baskets of toys over there and a couple things of books those will be coming with us um, and that wardrobe and that dresser and that little dresser thing they're all empty there's nothing in any of them so I'm feeling pretty good about how this room is and my next stop is going to be Roslyn's room I just thought of another thing that I'm really excited about with moving to a smaller place two things actually first off uh, utility costs. It costs a fortune to air condition this place. Um, in Arizona, you run air conditioning like 10 months out of the year. We will be still running the air conditioning probably into October, but you also have to run heaters too because in the winter time it does get below freezing. Oh, you're going to steal my headband. It does get below freezing at night. So it costs a lot of money when you're in a very large house like this. But the other thing, thank you so much, Irene. You are very distracting at the moment. Oh, do you want me to have it or not? You're sending me mixed messages, child. Oh, you're gonna wear it. Um, thank you. Do you want me to put it on you? Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. There you go. <laughs> so another thing that I just remembered that I miss about the old place is how quick it is to clean. Um, so it took me a long time to get through that toy room partially because I was uh, getting rid of a lot of stuff but it took me about 15 minutes to get Roslyn's room vacuumed and cleaned and I was like oh yeah back in the day when we lived in that old place that was like I don't know 800 square feet or whatever it was um, if the, ho the house got messy quick but the house was really fast to clean there's a lot more maintenance here <laughs> so that's something that I'm looking forward to um, in other news though I have some exciting plans with my dad today. I guess he was feeling a little left out last week, so we'll see if that comes to fruition. You're so cute, Irene. One of the really important things that we learned last year when we were moving is that it's super important to take breaks, because otherwise you get a little stir crazy. Fortunately, we have season passes to the aquarium, and if you didn't see last week, my dad didn't get to go on a date with my mom for his anniversary to the aquarium and he was a little jealous that we took my mom here. So we are spending the day, a little bit of the day here because we have passes, they have passes. We can come do this literally whenever. Um, and I needed a break from all the cleaning. Yeah, that's a crocodile all right. A brief pause for some lunch. Not quite the same as a date with your wife, but the fortunate thing is you have passes, so you can do this whenever. Oh, well, there's nothing like kids in an aquarium, though. It really makes it a whole lot more fun. Oh, yeah. Irene's, or Rosin's 
just like running it all over the place. It's a little chaos. I would run all over the place too if I were a little kid. <laughs> I remember riding in cars for hours to get to aquariums. Mom and Dad would go off their aquarium or if there were a zoo anywhere nearby. Uh, we would go and we'd ride for hours. When we got out, we'd get so excited, we'd run around and we'd look. But now Phoenix has one, so we don't have to drive hours and hours. I mean, I guess we had sea life before, but this is way, like, this is like a legit aquarium. There's a nice one on the west side of the valley, too. That I've never been to. We should go. World Wildlife, wildlife Zoo or Zoo, something. it's a zoo, isn't it? It has, has an aquarium. aquarium. A nice aquarium. Yeah, it's not in the pool. It's in her hand. That's pickles. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm editing the vlog right now. I wasn't there. Was there an armadillo at the aquarium? There's... Why? Just... I have no words. I have no words. I'm sorry. You can go back to the vlog. I just... I have no words. But why was there an armadillo at the aquarium? Sorry to interrupt. Okay. Back to your regular scheduled viewing program. However, it's kind of like 15, layer 15 pickles. Wow. Would you like to touch her too? Here you go, guys. Thank you want to be a pet 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 Yeah. Do you want to pet her, honey? Take two fingers. There you go. Nice. This is Pickles. Woo! She's ready to go. Should I put her back down so she can run? What do you think? I think she wants to run. Should we let her? Here we go. And she's off. <laughs> Where do you normally keep her? I've never seen her before. Yeah, she lives in our behind the scenes area. Here you go. You want some stuff for your hands? Yeah, let's, let's, let's sanitize your just hands. Like that. Here you go. Now just rub them together, just like this. There you go. Yeah, just give us a minute. We'll pick her back up. Um, so she lives in our behind the scenes area. She um, is one of our ambassador animals, so she comes out to meet you guys periodically throughout the day. Yeah, I wonder if it's the same one that liked you the other day. Look, he's coming back. Came back into the water. Oh, oh. He went out the water now. remind you of Roslyn? He likes my dress. He likes your dress. Okay. Does he kind of look like Hank? A little bit? Next is the shark. No, Hank is the octopus from Finding Dory. Jurassic Park. Finishing off our trip with some ice cream. Possum, what'd you get on top of yours? Ice cream did you get? Mm -hmm. All right, we are home again, home again. Um, and Ken is putting Rosalind to bed right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Um, I will put together a moving playlist because I have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot of videos like this. So it should be linked right there. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't checked out these two videos, you should probably do that. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.